Meeting is now called to order. Good evening. The Middletown Township Public Library is a safety institution that provides materials, ideas, information, technology, and cultural opportunities to enrich, empower, and educate. The October 16 meeting of the Middletown Public Library Board of Trustees is called to order. Adequate notice of this meeting was published in the Asbury Press on January 29, 2013, in the Independent on January 30, 2013, and posted in the library and at Town Hall on Friday, October 11, 2013, in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act. Roll we'll call Mr. Siebert. Present. Mr. Nelson. Here. Mr. Shivian. Mr. DeCantis. Present. Mr. Monaghan. Mr. Cordiano. Present. Mr. Fiore. Here. Ms. Green. Ms. Wilson. Mr. McCumba. Oh. It's over here. Pete. Mm -hmm. And, and Mr. Green. 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 Green.
Mark, you, you made the question, which was, why does it show no uh, doubt? Right, it was all down. And, um, and this year and, and this month, it's showing the entire year being spent. This year, it's showing the entire year you spent. Now, where did you get your data from prior? Where did you get from prior? Yeah. There was nothing in the prior month. There was nothing in the prior month on. And I question why, why aren't we showing it? Yeah. So, so you're, you're questioning the amount that the employees are withheld for Social Security? Amongst other things. I'm, I'm questioning why we're showing spending to date now, which is uh, as of September, and showing the full year of being spent. I don't know if the board presented that to the Township Finance Office. Yeah, we, took, we just took Social Security, which is the one thing that is very uh, identifiable and applied to FICA It certainly is not $104,000 that, that is being shown. Is there any other questions or comments? Can we get an answer to that? Thank 
said, I'll move on to that person up in Spain. Well, we discussed the pros and cons of um, getting an interim director or a permanent director, and we'll be driving you know, the civil service clause by that. Resend it to all of you. 
I can open it. Would, would, would you please show me where it is clear as day? I do not have the audit in front of me, but I promise you, in the audited financial statement, which I did review, what the hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars in additional cash that was paid to Mr. Bush. That's where that money came from. It was there. Mr. Bush, I'm asking why didn't it show up in the audit? I can't answer the audit question. Why didn't it show up? Because the audit is not a
the history behind it. So, uh, moving on to the new business resolutions, we have resolution 2013, uh, 2013 32, and it is, um, since we all stay within the system, we had tabled this resolution last month, um, and Mr. Cordiano wanted me to point out if we needed to purchase the licenses for um, Circuit, which is the uh, self checkout system that the library uses. We do not have to um, purchase the licenses, we are replacing the existing antennas which means we don't have to purchase the licenses, plus we already have 11 seats, and we're only purchasing seven right now. So we eventually will have to replace the others, but right now the most imperative ones are the ones up at the front desk and the two in the bar services department. So um, with that, um, the purchase price for seven antennas for the new uh, self-checkout system is um, it's $1,950. For each antenna, so it comes down to $14,650. And since we're not buying the switching eyeglasses, we're staying in color, this uh, will be the upgrade that's necessary for the department. Will there be any reduction in price per, per unit if we replace the antenna? I don't believe so. Um, I think there is a small, um, if you look at um, your attachments that I leave you on the TechLogic um, proposal of the RFP, I think there might be a small reduction if we purchase all of them, but um, right now Scott felt that he didn't need to do that. Um, just so it, go, it goes down, um, if we purchased um, 11, it would go down only fifty dollars each one, so it's really not a huge savings. So he felt we could wait, and since we don't have to buy the licenses, and the licenses are two thousand dollars, will they go down um, for ten? Would be eighteen hundred dollars each, but we don't need those. So that's Scott is a program that works for us directly. Yes, he's our our IT 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 how much would it be for us to put credit card terminals in and whatever? Co is an open source, so everybody that has the system that knows how to um, work programs uh, or create programs to work with the system do work on the system together as a whole. Well, open I was just asking. So he will work on that and then he will bring it to Co. I don't know if Co right now that's accepting credit cards that we should just. I don't, I, I don't know if they do in New Jersey. There are a lot of uses. Um, is that like a user message board or bulletin board yes. way to indicate? I would say before Scott goes and mm -hmm. reinvents the wheel, it would be hard for me to believe that across this whole country everybody that's using COVID and no one accepts credit cards. I'm not sure. So I will check with him before he... I mean, you know what saying? Yes. Just, just so this way he's not spending these bills. Absolutely. It's like, I, I always find that when you're looking for a solution, sometimes the best thing is not to do it yourself. It's just like stealing the code from somebody else. Oh, absolutely. And it's not yeah. stealing, it's open. Well, that's the open source. So yeah, that, that's, that's the whole, whole part of the beauty of what that is. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure he's probably done that. It's just that sometimes you think you have to bang your head against the wall and it's, you know. Well, some people may be using Koha, but maybe using <coughs> ACS to do their self checkout, which is another program where we're using Circuit now. Uh -huh. So it may be that they can do it with ACS, but not be compatible to Koha. So they may be people out there that are using the credit card system, but with a different so program with self checkout. Self -checkout. Right now, there's nobody, there's nobody at the front that would be able to accept a credit card for anyone that wants to pay their bill. Uh, no. Unless now. Is this being done by how many self checkouts are there? Seven? Yes. No, there's um, five in the front. Right, five. so, I mean, maybe you don't need to get five credit card machines. Maybe you can get, right. you know, three credit card machines mm -hmm. or whatever it is, because that's another cost that's. Well, I know that the board discussed also the square, and I don't remember where that went. Um, that's, that's a waste of time. Right. So we didn't, I don't, I don't know why we didn't do that. I don't know if it was because it wasn't compatible with COA, because I really wasn't no. involved with that. No, you need a very, you need like a very full terminal or something like that. Was right. Thinking. So I think that's probably what it was. I mean, they have self-checkout terminals that you can buy for like less than $1,000 that you could probably integrate easier than writing this whole thing. Similar to an ATM machine, you just 
persuade, put the amount in, pay, you know. No, 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 I understand that. What I'm saying is that even if you had to, if people want to pay on a credit card if it was over a certain amount or something like that, we might be better served just to have something to pay a credit card. You say, you know, just have somebody take care of them. People paying is better than not paying. I agree. You know, and I'm sure once you start accepting credit cards, you'll have people pay a lot more than they, especially if it's well, the threshold's been changed, so they're, they're fined. They're only allowed up to ten dollars worth of fines before they're allowed to check out any more books. So the threshold used to be. We have to think about actually like, I, taking their credit card information and just when they get to the threshold, just charging them automatically. Wow, I don't think that's necessarily going to be. Why not? So you do your gym membership. Why, why are we any different? Unless we're going to hire service to maintain it. Uh, there's no service to maintain it. No, no, there's no service to maintain it. It'll be in the system where it gets ten dollars. It's like easy pass, exactly. Yeah. I mean, right, automatic replenishing. <laughs> exactly. I'm sh I'm sh <coughs> I'm positive that they have that. I'm positive. I, I, I see problems trying to put an uncle down the path that just that you don't want to do problems in the And they signed a release saying every time my balance goes up, price in my car. I mean, now I'm talking about when I hit people for a hundred dollars.
civil service, you're, you are able to um, promote them to a senior librarian. Sheila Algaba has completed her two years as a librarian and um, is seeking to be promoted. She does have a satisfactory performance review and the two years as a librarian here in the reference department. Can we discuss this? Can we table this for the next meeting? Yeah, sure. Get a Second. All in favor? Aye. Motion is tabled. <clears throat> the next resolution is 2013-36 in regards to uh, finances of the library in regards to petty cash. Um, the custodian was always the library director and since uh, Ms. O'Neill resigned as of September, we need a new petty cash custodian so, until the new library director is appointed and since John Hopp is the uh, principal finance clerk, and does all the finances for the library and, and handles all the petty cash vouchers, uh, it would probably be appropriate to name her as the petty cash custodian interim until the new library director. Motion. Second. Mr. Seaver? Yes. Mr. Nelson? Yes. Mr. Kansas? Yes. Mr. Fiore? Yes. Mr. Cordiano? Yes. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Ms. Brady? Yes. from their refunds and it's not being that. So and on top of that the item might have been replaced. Yes, we might have gone out already and purchased it and placed the order for, to replace that book, that that lost item. So we're really, you know, getting it, yeah. So the 
wording for board so like materials. Items. And then we have a collection. Right. Yeah, that's well, well, overall, okay. I know. So she made a suggestion to me that any, you know, refunds that the library gives out, once we, we, not we, I'm sorry. Once the book is returned, <coughs> oh, no, not returned, I'm sorry. Once the book is paid and is lost, yes. there is no refund. It is yours. It's yours. It's yours. It's it's yours. We you don't want it back. Right. We don't want it back. We're not going to refund your money and we're not, not going to. Not, is that not in the rules right now? No, it's not. Is it? Well, you're, you are correct in what you're saying. All right, so we're going to put that in the rules tonight. Yes. Right, so, so basically, the new wording would be no refunds for items that have been returned after a lost item fee has been already paid. And good luck with you.
but realizing full well we're not going to have yeah, it that, exactly I guess, quickly. I guess that would uh, hopefully should have been later. Um, but uh, I, I guess that would be more back then than uh, at that point. I think so. It should be addressed. Yeah, yeah we will discuss that. So, any other new business? Public session, would anyone like to speak? I understand numbers, but I would never 
even come close to understanding the different nuances of an audit. So I, I guess I'm just a little concerned about how easily his opinion is dismissed. I mean, if there was somebody on the board, I, I mean, Mr. McKenzie, he's in the, insurance, in the insurance area. If he came out and said, you know, the Social Security this, or the workers' comp that, you know, I think his opinion should be taken seriously because he has a background in that information. So I, I, I would just like to ask this board to give him more uh, more time to explain more the nuances of what he's saying about the, the numbers, about the, the um, audit, or about the budget, or about the financial statements, or whatever, because he obviously is trained and has that expertise. And I think that's why he was chosen for this board. Manager Jeff, I find that deeply disrespectful. Mr. Mr. Nelson is the vice president of this board, and is also sitting on the finance committee. So, where I'm not sure where you. Uh, where exactly you, you I thought like he was just cut right? off just then. And I, I've seen it in other meetings where he, he voted against the budget. When he was trying to say something, I felt like his opinion was just kind of cut off. I didn't feel like you gave him a full uh, allotment of time to explain better what he meant about the numbers. And I, I just, that's my sense. And I think it's, it's pretty blatant so, in the last several meetings that you know he has tried to express a concern about the numbers. And I think with his expertise, I think this board should give him more time to go into more detail about, about what his concern is because of his background. I mean, you're not an accountant. No. So I, I think that that's useful to this board. I, think it's, I don't know why it's being so easily dismissed. Um, my last question is about the strategic plan. Um, I believe the strategic plan committee was formed in January. I'm just wondering when that group is met and how far along they are on. Here we are in September. Is there a new strategic plan for this year, or will it be one for next year? Uh, we'll address that with any director. Okay, so nothing's been done on it this year? The uh, strategic plan? As, no far as, I was, as far as I was informed, Ms. O'Neill was doing um, some preparations prior to the meeting of the, of the strategic plan committee. Okay, and who was on the strategic plan committee? Uh, Mr. Cordiano. Would anyone else like to speak? Good evening, we're at the shop at 121 Cranberry Court. Uh, I'm having trouble hearing tonight because there's no amplification uh, coming from the dais area. It seemed to be some uh, in the past, if I recollect correctly. At any rate, I'll try to do the best I can. Uh, two meetings, uh, two uh, uh, Middletown Township Committee meetings ago, I, uh, I spoke at the uh, public session and I asked uh, uh, Mr. Fusante uh, when, not only when could, but when, when did uh, Susan O'Neill know that $156,000 Available. And uh, his answer was uh, mid-September uh, 2012. Uh, I'm kind of uh, myth and mystified as why, why members sitting here tonight uh, didn't know then, apparently didn't know in December, and I believe uh, uh, one of the board members uh, is in an article saying he didn't hear anything about it until he talked to uh, Chisante in uh, May. No year was given, but I assume that meant May of 2013. If, if the information is being uh, publicized in such a way, if it exists in, in, in print, uh, then somehow, assuming all board members are working with due diligence, due diligence, due diligence, we all know the phrase. And they're still not getting the information. Something's really amiss. Big time. Big time. And this is very disappointing to hear this kind of talk going on this evening with that kind of uh, 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 seeming a lack of due diligence and seeming an irresponsible dissemination of information. 
I get the uh, budget reports from the, uh, the uh, 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 Board of Education when I ask for it, certified or non-certified. I get it from the freeholder, certified or non-certified. And I get it from the committee of uh, Middletown uh, when they're uh, certified or non-certified. And I read through all these pages uh, two or three times with some knowledge, certainly not the knowledge of the captain or an auditor or an actual aerial expert, but I do attempt to educate myself. I have discovered that uh, uh, in the meeting that I cited uh, two meetings ago in the committee, that uh, in fact Susan O'Neill and Trump up at Al, at Alley should have known that there was as much as $260,000 available uh, based on a memo that I got from uh, Susan O'Neill's uh, department, $260,000. It was a $50,000 give back from the charge back from the committee. And so what's going on right now, it seems to me, uh, in the newspapers and here and other meetings, is kind of a blame game, and it's uh, very disappointing to see that kind of stuff going on. It seems to me that the uh, board here should consider how they can improve disseminating knowledge, uh, even from executive sessions, to the public, so that everything is out in the open, so that we don't have these um, uh, uh, accidental uh, uh, occasions of ignorance, which is just a lack of knowledge, not a lack of no uh, intelligence, lack of knowledge. Thank you very much. I'll try and get the uh, microphone. Linda Bell, 19 May Court. Uh, a few comments. Um, I would like to sort of repeat some of the things that Ms. Elmeyer said and also point out that uh, it was extremely rude of a few members of this board to be speaking while she was speaking. I've never actually seen that at a board meeting before, not even a township committee meeting. Um, it's not appropriate for a member of the public speaking. Um, it's clearly meant to be disrespectful. Um, also, uh, Ms. Elmeyer mentioned some of the comments that Mr. Nelson has made. And, and I agree with her. You know, here's a person with a financial background. He's had some very relevant comments. His comment tonight, if I understood it correctly, was extremely relevant. And basically, this board went ahead and ignored it. Voted, um, uh, approved the uh, financial uh, list or bill list. Anyway, I'm not sure if that's the proper term. But I would like to uh, ask a couple questions about that to clarify, Mr. Nelson, what you were saying. Uh, basically, if I understood correctly, there was no entry for a certain items last last month, like workers' comp insurance, maybe some other charges. And this month, there is a full entry, which is listed as spent or a bill amount for the month? Is that correct? The amount that was shown was virtually for the full year. But it is being proved as uh, a bill as amount spent. or a month of the monthly amount. The annual amount. The year to day amount, which was the full year. Okay, year to day amount, but it's only uh, only through in October and so for example, uh, the one that is very identifiable is uh, Social Security. I understand, uh, but it's basically through September, the one that you're looking at now. So through September, through nine months. It is a September statement, okay. but it's showing the amount being paid. Okay, so that, that's actually a very relevant comment. Um, when, when you're seeing numbers that are much higher than they should be, that are higher than you anticipated, is to go ahead and, and prove that without asking additional questions um, seems a little bit odd to me. Seems that was the amount really that was budgeted for the year. Pardon? That was the amount that was budgeted for the year. Correct, but you're so it's not higher. Sure. So it's not higher. But it's not the end of the year. Did they, did they show up any other month, Mr. Seabird? This is the first time they showed up. But you're not approving the amount of the year. You're so we should have divided by 10. That's what is we that saw. correct? No, no, we should divide by 9. By 9, I'm sorry. Is that, that what the argument is? We should divide by 9 instead of doing it one time that won't show up next month? Uh, no, what I'm saying is we don't know what has been spent. Do you know what's been spent? You know what your payroll is? I know what the FICA rate is. Okay, so what's the problem? Well, I don't know what the payroll is. I don't know what the FICA rate is. Okay, so what's the problem? 
that's not what is being shown on the state. My understanding is that there were some other charges as well. Where is the question? Basically, they're running high ahead of when they We don't know what. I don't know, know what. Okay, so we don't, we don't really know. We went ahead and, uh, and approved it anyway. And um, one identifiable item is, is Social Security. Um, who knows what the other ones are. Second. All in favor? 